Folks, welcome back to the Prog Hat channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. I'm paying tribute and respects to one of America's great saxophone players of all time. David Sanborn has left and went to heaven to play in the heavenly band. I was devastated. I just found this out. Apparently, he passed away on May 12th of uh, his long his battle with cancer I'll just put it that way and I was surprised because I'm a fan of him I, I've always loved uh, his records um, a lot of them I don't have and I was trying to find some of them but I got everything kind of scattered and not really fully organized but I found two records that I know that he plays on now his first solo, solo album called Taken Off released in 1975 I don't even have that album but now I'm going to look for it but like I mentioned folks I loved his tone I love the music he uh, brought I know he's considered smooth jazz and I'm not trying to stir the pot here but I know jazz snobs that I talk to kind of put their nose in the air when they hear smooth jazz I don't really like to call it that it, to me it's jazz and I don't know why it's, you know, it's like considered, you know, I heard the, I heard the stuff. I get made fun of it about it from time to time. Elevator music, music to go to sleep by. Okay, that's great. There's nothing wrong with music to go to sleep with. You know, it's peaceful. You want to have a peaceful night. But back to Mr. Sanborn, born, and hopefully I'm saying his name correct. But he played in so many genres of music, funk, jazz, rock, pop. He was a uh, big influence. He was influenced by the Ray Charles band. He studied uh, music at Northwestern and he played with a lot of people. Eric Clapton on the soundtrack for Lethal Weapon, the Rolling Stones. Uh, the list goes on and on. Um, for me, I'm going to truly miss him. And now when I uh, come across records I don't have I'm going I'm going to grab them be, but um, when I find them so I picked out two records that I know he plays on um, great work here like he's on the boys and girls album by Brian Ferry which is a great album has also featured David Gilmore man I can't believe I'm I just can't believe another another great musician has passed away and has been an influence in my, in my in my life and and at times uh, you know I love hearing his like I said his tone whenever I'm you know whatever I'm going through and it just that, that his music just brought peace and joy into my heart and into my life he also played on a track on this album and I had to write it down and make sure that I remember it it's Stevie Wonder and the track is uh, Tuesday Heartbreak off of uh, Stevie Wonder's uh, one of his um, great records. Sorry about the glare, folks. Talking Book. This was gifted to me by Anthony, um, who's a member of the VC. I appreciate it, Anthony. I, I have these pulled out too because I am going to listen to them. And also, he was uh, featured on, um, he played on a, a very well known David Bowie track. I mean, now when, you, when I hear it, I'm, it's going to have. Oh man, it's just, I don't know what to say. I, there's, what can you say? I'm, I'm really speechless, but the track that he plays on is Young Americans. What a great song. What a great saxophone part that he adds to that song. I mean, he's put his uh, magical touches on a lot of stuff. He's, like I said, epic player. Love his music. Yes. It was part of my growing up, part of my life, and will always be. Folks, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I I'm, I'm, I'm really am devastated. Um, I, I did not even uh, see or know this was coming. Let me know, folks, in the comments below if you had a favorite David San, Sanborn track, Born track, an album that he played on, a favorite album by, it, by him. But anyway... Uh, rest in peace blessing prayers to his family and friends 
this is devastating news again folks uh, thank you so much for um, clicking and watching this video again leave me a comment and we'll be talking to you very very soon